Why is the Social Security Administration involved with your railroad retirement? Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara, Highball Advisors, and today we're going to talk about Social Security and how that really plays with your railroad retirement. So this way everybody just has a better understanding of the interchange between the Social Security Administration and the Railroad Retirement Board. So I thought I'd just kind of do this one here and see how this is going to affect uh, your annuity. So let's just go back, take a step back, uh, Railroad Retirement Tier 1, Tier 2, right? So Tier 1 is made up of your top 35 earning years of Social Security work and railroad work, all right? So whatever that combination is, and frankly, it could be, let's say you had five years in the railroad and, you know, 40 in Social Security and 35 of those were in Social Security, then they would just take your Social Security, the uh, Railroad Retirement Board, when they calculated your annuity. Tier 2 is railroad service only, all right? So that's kind of separate. So uh, as far as Social Security, right, they determine how much your benefits should be, right? They have that own Social Security amount. I'm talking about the individuals that have worked in the Social Security system, all right? So what they do is at the Social Security Administration, they don't even recognize any of your railroad years. So if you looked at a Social Security statement, it would be blank for all those years that you worked in the railroad. All right, so what they would say is, okay, uh, you've worked the Social Security system, you paid in, this is how much money you should be getting out of Social Security. They would then forward that amount to the Railroad Retirement Board, okay, and then the Railroad Retirement Board would calculate your Tier 1 uh, benefit. So your Tier 1 is a combination of Social Security and the Railroad Retirement Board. Uh, the Railroad Retirement Board would get the money from the Social Security to pay that portion okay, of your tier one, and then the Railroad Retirement Board makes up the balance of that. And I'll walk you through an example here real, uh, real quick. So, but it's important, I put here in red, there's no duplication of benefits. So you can't get uh, Social Security and Railroad Retirement, all right? So if you're getting two checks, you have a problem, you gotta watch out for that. You could have uh, interest and penalties. Uh, they will eventually catch up to you, okay? There's no doubt about it. So let's take this example. So let's say there's a railroader with 20 years. All right, so 20 years, that's a good number, but obviously this person probably has years out in Social Security also. So let's say their Social Security benefit is $1,300, but the Railroad Retirement Board, right, says their Tier 1 uh, benefit is going to be $3,000 a month. So they're going to get $1,300 from the Social Security. So what happens is, that money from Social Security, Social Security Administration goes right to the Railroad Retirement Board. All right, so the Railroad Retirement Board is going to write, uh, is going to kick in seventeen hundred. Social Security is going to kick in thirteen hundred. You're going to get one check uh, for the uh, three thousand dollars on the Tier One portion, right? So it's all it's all combined into one check. But I just wanted to show you how the Social Security Minist uh, Administration puts that money into uh, the tier one. So that's why it is important, you know, we have all these conversations about viability or changes of Social Security administration, uh, Social Security uh, coming up here 2035, I believe it is, uh, you know, where they say benefits might have to be uh, reduced or other things might have to go on. So as you can see, that's all gonna come into your calculation there on tier one. So, uh, and then finally, um, if you are, I've mentioned this before, but if you are receiving benefits from, let's say, Social Security and then you're going to Railroad Retirement, you must notify the Railroad Retirement Board uh, that you're receiving uh, uh, benefits from them because, like I said, if you have two, you're going to get uh, uh, dinged on that with interest. There's no doubt about it. So, um, all right. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. This is how Social Security works with the uh, railroad retirement. It's just on the tier one. It has nothing to do with tier two. Social Security just calculating non-railroad years. That's all they're doing. All right. So, uh, there really, as a railroad, really not much reason ever to go out and talk to the Social Security Administration at all. All right. Everything can get done through that railroad retirement board. Um, feel free to reach out to me if you want to talk about this, calculations of your railroad retirement annuity. Uh, you can go through my boarding for railroad retirement process for those at or near railroad retirement. Very, very useful to understand your uh, retirement income. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. Click on the notification bell 
to get the latest video. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.